up welcome back to the channel real quick man i got this alternate i'm about to replace actually i'm replacing it uh first of all it's uh it's not putting out proper voltage so i did the test and i have come to the conclusion and the determination that it needs to be replaced all right now in a separate video later i'm gonna go over how to properly diagnose the alternator now this one got a burn mark right here uh all right let's get this battery disconnected man we want to uh take away all the car electrical system and uh also let's get this belt removed now this alternator is held on by three bolts uh pretty much all of them held on attached to the engine uh mount using bolts all right let's get these removed and uh we're basically going uh where are we at where are we at? let's get the electrical part off the alternator uh get the connectors off now this one is uh being pretty stubborn all right it's been on for a while probably decades all right so there's my new alternator right there you will need maybe a pry bar to uh dislouge this alternator from uh the bracket now once you get that off uh it's just a matter of installing a new alternator reversing the removal procedures basically okay so this one is stubborn man let's get this thing off of here all right like i say man i know this is below uh standards on my normal videos but i'm doing this so i got a couple of uh, newbie guys that's replacing alternators and batteries and i don't want to show them that it's not that difficult so bear with me uh hardline subscribers while we there man let's take a look at this uh, uh, water pump make sure it's not leaking and looky 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 here somebody dropped a battery terminal inside of here uh while i got this alternator i, I might as well get this out of here i am a nice guy i have no problem with it let's remove this i'm sure the customer didn't even know it was there but we're gonna get it out of here all right just because we nice people all right now we got this all got that out we got a clear way clear shot grab your new alternator simply set it in place all right and uh basically we're gonna reverse the removal procedure all right so set that in place it should be easy because it's not compressed to the bracket yet now what we're gonna do is grab our bolts tighten the bolts down let's get this bolt tightened down remember it's three i took off three i don't know what you, how many you took off on a particular car are you doing all right i got these two tightened down uh i'm gonna tighten this one down later i'm just want to show you let's get that one tightened down we're gonna put the electrical connector back on the alternator we're gonna connect the connector back to the alternator let's get the battery terminals tightened back to specs let's get the be uh, belt installed now let's see where we are ladies and gentlemen i got the alternator on everything running car running fine I got a basic voltmeter hooked up, and as you can see, we're putting out 13.8. That's pretty much what you want between 13 and 14 volts, all right? That would indicate uh, it's charging. Not properly, because I'm going to go over how to do it. All right, man, so thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.